the recipes in this book are going to take you onto a journey, a journey hopefully you've never been before. Hi there, and now I'm going to make you what I call my purple citrus tomato pomegranate and sumac salad. You may be wondering why the book is called Purple Citrus. Well, it's because of the heavy presence of sumac. Sumac is something which is just amazing. It really brings us the most alluring, magical of memories. Sumac is what makes this salad a truly princely salad, a salad fit for a sultan. Sumac is coming from the sumac berry and it's the most beautiful, zesty plant. It's the plant that people used to use in medieval times before lemons were about. It gives a wonderful twist and freshness to anything that is used. Then we have the pomegranate molasses. Um, I sometimes marinate my lamb with it, my meat, my chicken. It works very, very well. And in fact, in the book, you will find recipes using pomegranate molasses in that sense too. But right here, pomegranate molasses is to make this salad a double whammy umami. Pomegranate itself, I have a pomegranate fruit, so I'm going to sprinkle a few seeds on the top because pomegranate is just good for you. More of it is more of it, you know? This is my rule, more is more. And in the case of pomegranate, this definitely is my rule. Tomatoes, of course, the main ingredient, the reason we're combining pomegranate molasses, sumac and a bit of cumin at the end, which I kind of put as a little added extra measure, is because of the tomatoes, they require this. All those are very strong flavors. The tomatoes are beautiful and very ripe. We're at the end of the season now, but we managed to get good tomatoes and masked and coated vibrantly, glittily, amazingly shiny tomatoes with the beautiful pomegranate molasses and sumac dressing it's to die for, with just a crusty piece of bread dabbing onto the sauces and eating it, it's just fabulous. Okay, and now let me just show you how easy this is. Pomegranate is a little bit messy, but it is delicious and it's totally worthwhile cooking with it. I want few seeds, I don't want too many. This is the way to do it. Away from you, open it up, away from you. You know what, instead of giving sweets to your children, try and give them those. It's so, so fabulously good for them. And for my dressing, I'm going to use the pomegranate molasses. So tons and tons of that wonderful, vibrantly red, screaming ruby colored fruit, reduced down to get to that consistency. Just look at this. And that's enough. If you happen to be using too much, once you've added the rest of your dressing ingredients, the way to remedy this is by adding a little bit of honey because it will give this little sweetness. Not water, not lemon certainly, but honey. What I'm going to do now is add some olive oil. Just Probably double that in olive oil. Goes in here a good olive oil. I'm going to put some salt because then I won't put any salt in the salad. I'm putting my sumac now. Remember, the sumac is instead of a lemon basically, but it gives this wonderful crunch. And then I'm going to put a pinch of cumin only because I love cumin and I think cumin and sumac works very well in this dish. I'm going to try it now to see what I think about it. Oh, it's good, it's good. It, get just, it has just the right amount of tartness in it. You really want this salad not to be swimming in this dressing, you want it to be coated beautifully in it. The way you cut the tomatoes, it's up to you. Here I'm using, like I said, some of my favorite tomatoes. These are heritage tomatoes. The color is not very attractive. They are absolutely fabulous in flavor. Six tomatoes will serve as a side dish for six people or for two if they're very, very hungry and if it's a main meal. I'm going to put some of my dressing. I always stir the dressing if you've made it some time ago because the pomegranate molasses are very heavy so they will settle on the bottom. What you need to do is just drizzle it. And I think this is probably okay for me. With the hands, I just want that feeling and that feeling is amazing. Look at them, we've got it. Just amalgamation of seasons and centuries of tradition of the most fabulous of ingredients. It's what sultans would have their favorite concubine prepare for them. I will then use a little bit of sumac to kind of top it all up. And then here it goes the pomegranate seeds, off they go on the top as well. 